All right, so this is the outside view. We're pretty happy with how it turned out. You guys might particularly like our sketchy little scaffold for the water here. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a four by four. Got a line tied under the scupper there. It's plenty safe. Well, it's quite a big jump up on our bulwark height. So before we were basically right around in here with a fiberglass. So they're coming up. What they end up being like 18 inches? Something like that? This plate is 21 and a half plus two. So 24. And well, the fiberglass would have been up about here and then a little bit more with the cap. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here probably. So it's so, yeah. about 18 inches, I guess. Something like that. That's gonna be nice, especially back here because the way the hole was, they just had it step down twice as you came further back, just probably because of the uh, previous fishery it was involved in the trolling. Your bulwarks back here low, especially because they had the troll pit, so. Yeah, you wanna be down low to the ground so you can reach down as close to the water as you can to pull salmon aboard because it's hook and line and they're flipping around stuff easy to pull the hooks out of their mouth so closer you are the the better i guess yep um, we were definitely feeling a little <laughs> vulnerable without higher bulwarks just because like we have a lot more gear that we have on deck or i don't know it's just a little weird not having any but now we do yeah, without bulwarks, stuff tends to get washed over easily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks nice. That came out good anyways. Yeah, it looks really good. Quite pleased with the results. This is how we ended up reattaching our staby poles. Uh, put a plate here on top, and then on the inside, we put a plate here, weld, welded it to the top there. Bolts come through. Um, we'll have to, I think we'll get a stanchion going down to the deck, like it had before. Um, just for a more temporary measure, eventually we'll, we'd like to redesign these things in their mounting bracket, but for now, that's what we ended up with. Um, I have a little piece of uh, 3 8 plate like this one that I cut to fit right here. Just have to weld it on now. Um, we did end up putting our stay lines, or our uh, side stays for the mast on the inside of the bulwarks. Um, still plenty of strength, like they'd never tear out or anything like that. That plate's so heavy it's not going to bend. So that kind of helped us um, on the outside here. Again, that's something that we'd also like to change in the future. Um, once we get a freestanding mast, you don't really have a need for these side stays. But yeah, um, it looks really good happy with how it came up. Um, we have some wood that we saved to go back in here. Just gotta patch it back in, screw it in. Uh, what else? So up here forward on the bow, we actually got our vinyl on finally. She's named the Emerald Isle. A lot of you already knew that, but we do occasionally get a comment once in a while asking what the name of our boat is. Um, up high in the mast there, you can see we have a array of three sodiums now. That's something we 
unfortunately didn't capture on camera. Um, we were just really in project grand mode there for a while, so we really didn't film a whole lot of it. Um, I think we got some tidbits here and there of assembling the mount, maybe a couple pictures, but um, yeah, it turned out really good. The lights turned out really good. They fit nicely up there. That ain't going nowhere. And we'll come back on that and a little bit more if need be. I guess they will grind this nice and flat and blend it all out. Try and make this rail look like it. It's all one piece. It's a really nice transition. Yeah. I like the way it turned out. It's nice and smooth. We got Came back far enough to where this was pretty straight to tie into that. And of course, uh, Matt and Tristan, you know, bent this back rail too. So you can't really see it, but there's some bend in here. And then to come back with the plate a little bit further to get past this hard spot. If you try and do a seam right on this corner like this, you'll probably never get very good results. Um, at least not with the equipment we have. It will be pretty stout. It feels good now. Um, I guess we can see what it does if we loosen up our strap. We just have this to pull this corner in a little bit and get it where it needed to be. So yeah, I think we can see what it does now. If we loosen this up. Let's see, I'll just go for a click. Just a very slight outward. Yep, I saw it relax just a hair. Yep. Well, that ain't gonna change nothing, so I think we're done with this. Might as well get it out of here before we torch it up. Huh? Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Ratchet straps come in handy. Yeah, they sure do. These big ones like this, you can actually put some force on some stuff in them. So the rest of this is really quite straightforward. Um, and we just need to position the plate against the rail here. So kind of our reveal on all of this is an inch and three quarter. So if we go along here, oh, looks like it needs to go out right there. Inch and five eighths, getting close to inch and three quarter, a little over right there. So we'll just take a, a clamp and put a board across here and then we can push or pull with the clamp. This should be fun. Yeah, I think it'll be good. This. It actually needs to be pretty stout because we'll be putting some pressure on it a little bit. Okay guys, so we got the uh, corner pretty much tacked and held into place here. Dad's just running some full beads on her. Lock her into place. Yeah. Super happy with this. It's already all positioned and tacked on the inside here. So I need to start welding it out fully on the outside here. Just hit that seam there. I just need to grind it. We'll grind all the stuff flush like up here and then just blend it out. Um, you can see the top rail blended in really nicely. Yeah. You barely even see where they connect. Yeah. Got the outside of this one here where it met up. Inside, top is done. Still need to hit it with the sander and then you won't hardly be able to see it. 
yeah, pretty happy. And so far, but on your back step, you weld a piece to start with, but then you jump to the other side each time because now this area is locked in place, you can't really move much. And once you start welding here, then that's kind of locked in place. And as you weld, your plate won't move as much. This stuff shouldn't really move at all now because like I say, it's tacked on the inside. But uh, in between tacks, it, it can move around a bit and uh, that just helps stop it. If, if you just continue just to weld one way, as the weld shrinks, it moves the metal and then you're just adding, you're just compounding that movement every time you go forward. So yeah, we'll just kind of do like, let's have this about seven or eight inches, I guess. Not so too good. shabby. I probably should have ground that one back more. I'm fussy. <laughs> fussy about my welds. Oh, was that wire brush out? Huh? Wire brush. Oh. Well, I guess they're good enough. They're good welds. Sometimes they just flow nicely. Sometimes they don't. Nice. Yeah. We keep on rolling on. We want to get this back rail kind of locked in here so we can not worry about it here. Got a couple of storms on the way, so yeah. hopefully get a good chunk of outside welding done and get stuff locked down. We get here. this stuff done right here on the inside and outside then we can also get our name put on the back here. Originally we were going to put it on the white down there but things changed. Now it's just going to go up here. I think we'll probably put emerald and then aisle under it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. we'll do a stacker. And we'll see how that goes. Because we probably might most likely have a hauling station in the middle for uh, for jigging mm -hmm. and the hooks and the weight'll yeah beat up the vinyl and yep okay so I just got a bar clamp on the cap rail here C clamp to hold it on I go up or down don't slide off and apply a Build downward pressure so that as he welds on that side, it doesn't mm, tilt the rail out. And ready it when you are. Shouldn't move a whole lot. Now yeah, it's like it's because of that corner. But down here, it, it definitely it'll still twist this. Is what it'll do. It'll twist this piece. Mm -hmm. Ready. Mm-hmm. Wanna do a couple of them? Yeah. 
Okay. Around her? Yeah. Got enough lead uh, for this yeah. one? I think it's like looking pretty good, Dad. It's matching this rail on the starboard there, more or less. This one might be tilted in the hair still too, back here. I think the big thing is as long as it's not twisting over here, we're good. Yeah. So. It looks to be pretty well in line with the end over there still too. Yeah, I'm just gonna put one more right here, I think. And that'll be good for now. I don't want to come too close to the end over here. Okay. I'll move my dealio here. Yeah, it's like barely even moving when I'm holding on it. Like, I don't feel it really even pulling that much. Just applying slight downward pressure even when I move it it's just pretty much moving the uh, the whole plate so. and I'll do it all right that good. nice Mappy enough with them. Yeah, so the wind puffed up right in the vital moment. <laughs> it started here and I was ending here and the wind had to blow up and, and get very tight and very good. Oh well. It still looks good though. That's beautiful. A little bit of blending right here to go, but it looks really good. You can see the difference. Um, just took the grinding wheel over that, but over here we took the sander to it. Um, well, grinding wheel, then a sanding disc, and then a sander. So, yeah, blends out really nicely. Are these grid on these 120? Uh, yeah, one, um, or 80. 180? Or just 80? 80 grit. So these shred a little bit pretty fast. <clears throat> and the super coarse ones are 24. You can kind of feel it right there. It would have been nice to actually bring this back here. This yeah, thing. run out a little long, huh? Yep, because we're right on the curve here and you can feel it, but it is what it is. Yep. I'll take some of the, I took a pretty good chunk of the hard spot out of it there.
Nick your gel coat, don't worry. Oh, he's gonna nick my gel coat. <laughs> All right, now I just need the sander. I was thinking ahead. Wow, there it is. Thought you might want that. Yeah. But that looks pretty darn good. Yeah. A little bit of tidy up on that one. Somewhere in here there's a seam. Pretty tough to see now. I can feel it. It's hard to see it though. I'd give that a passing grade. Cool. Yeah, well, nice. Yeah, we'll get the scratches out of there and that's about it. We won't worry about it too much more than that. There's kind of some, the, the finish, the mill finish on this stuff. You could take a sandpaper or something, just go in the same direction and hide that too. <clears throat> but over time, uh, right now this is really shiny. So you pretty much see everything because it's still got a bit of a mirror finish or enough of a reflection that you can pick up that stuff really easy once this stuff oxidizes it, it'll be really hard to see the imperfections it'll just kind of blend it nice and a gray kind of matte and it'll pretty much be invisible at that point but yeah pretty happy with that nice yeah a few little spots to fix a few little tiny pinholes here and there a little bit of touch up and we'll be good to go. But that corner is at least done. So if we get flipped around again, it'd be hard to get to with the stern on that side of the dock just because there's, you can't really do this um, over there. So that's nice to get this corner knocked out. That corner is easy to get at from the dock. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the rail, yep, there it is. It's getting windy out. Yeah, That's I it think. for today. All right, guys. So, got this corner here. Pretty much uh, tied in. At least all the seams are closed up. The cap rail is walled up on the outside. And just, I uh, guess, a little bit of blending on that one left to go. So it turned out really good. It's nice and solid. Like, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. You tie in a corner like that and everything is very good and solid now. Yeah, we still have, um, we still have some strips that we're gonna put on here. It's just uh, the same stuff, 3 8 uh, but cut to width that we'll put on there and weld out and that'll tie in that lower part to this inside strap so we'll probably do that and uh i guess once this is welded out probably yeah um, that we did add a little more rigidity and um also just close this off so you don't have a bunch of crud and stuff uh building up in there yeah couldn't be happier with how this turned out um this corner i don't know if you guys know but this is how it basically started out was uh two pieces a quarter inch, some spacer blocks in between. These are cut to two and a quarter inch. And then we have a three eighths inch piece on the inside and outside surface. And that brings it out to a three and a half. It's just a really easy way to space it. You just bring it in tight with these and the two layers of it end up making it three inches uh, wide. And then, of course, um, 
It's also uh, inch and a half high, so a quarter inch, inch and a half, and another quarter inch. You get your two inch, two inch width, and uh, that's that's how we made that. And so it turned out really good. I'm super happy with it. Um, pretty hard to see the seams. Can feel them. Hard to see them. Next corner piece is in hand right there for over here on the starboard side. Yeah. So that will be coming up next. These are kind of time consuming, but uh, but the results are worth it, so. Yeah. There's really no other good way to, to do this and match this up with these, these caps. I, I don't know if, you know, a guy could bend these on a hydraulic machine if he has a tubing bender that's set up for square tube. I don't even know if you can bend this stuff that tight or that nice. I have seen guys, you know, do pretty tight bends with, uh, with just round tubing and, and even square tubing, but I don't know if you could do it with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment down below. Let us know what you think. Yep, yeah, check us out on Instagram and Facebook at EIS Alaska. And we'll catch you again soon. Yep, see you guys.